Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Cantley, Quebec. We are talking uh, fair trade chocolate with uh, Olivia Chocolat this morning. But we have a very special guest joining us now. She is the marketing and community outreach manager for Bridgehead. It's uh, Gina Becker. And uh, tell me a little bit about why you wanted to form this relationship with mm -hmm. Olivia Chocolat. We've always loved what uh, Olivia Chocolat does um, organically. They are local, mm -hmm. being in Cantley. And we thought we'd uh, see if we could interest, interest them in bringing in a fair trade certified origin. Mm -hmm. And they've done so from Dominican Republic, from Conacado Co-op. Yeah. And um, together we're gonna make a, a, a fabulous mini, uh, both 76 roasted and 86 raw mini bar available in our shops. Right, and uh, David, why was it important, this is uh, joining us once again is David, the yes. president and founder of Olivia Chocolat. Why was it important to you to, to form this relationship? Well, uh, we work directly uh, sourcing cocoa from the farmers mm -hmm. and it was important to us to uh, become a fair trade certified producer because we share the same values as uh, as Bridgehead do mm -hmm. with working directly with producers and uh, uh, sourcing this particular cocoa from Dominican Republic it just made a lot of sense to to form this partnership and yeah. work together so and why did you choose Dominican Republic? Well, Dominican is a country that's near and dear to local Canadians. Uh, local people from Ottawa go mm -hmm. there in the middle of our cold winters. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people are very familiar with the conditions there. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was an important country. There was an identity. And uh, it was uh, an opportunity for us to give something back to, mm -hmm. the, to the community that we work with, the mm -hmm. farmers. Mm -hmm. And a reminder for those who have just tuned in, we are talking about the fair trade chocolate that uh, Olivia Chocolat is now producing that will be available in Bridgehead. But for those who aren't familiar with that phrase, fair trade, what exactly um, uh, needs needs to happen with regards to chocolate in order for it to be classified as fair trade? Mm -hmm. So everyone along the, the chain from growing to manufacturing to retailing need to be registered with the Flow Registry. Mm -hmm. In Canada, it's fair. Uh, Fair Trade Canada, mm -hmm. and what that really means is guaranteeing that the working conditions and wages which growers earn is fair mm -hmm. relative to uh, other opportunities in the, in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. Um, so it really benefits local farmers, local economy, and everyone along the chain, including manufacturers and retailers. Very important. So. Uh Let's give it a try. Which one should I try first, David? I think you should try the 86 first. Okay. Always start with the higher percentage one first and then go down to the lower. And what does the higher percentage of chocolate mean in taste-wise? Uh, in terms of cocoa content, it's going to be less sugar. When you go from 76 to 86, you're cutting the sugar in half. Mm. Uh, we make an 86 raw, so that's chocolate made from raw cocoa beans. And that has a very soft, rounder, earthy taste than regular roasted chocolate. Very good. Okay, yeah. now I'm going to try the 76 up to open. I just yep, snap just backwards. Snap it in the back and it oh, pops open. Okay. And then you've got one square to work with there. Very easy. Okay. And what am I going to notice uh, taste wise that'll be different about the 76? Uh, this is a softer, smoother taste. Um, it's uh, very much layered. It's uh, mm. it's it's going to be a type of chocolate that you're going to taste for for five minutes. But it, I like that one. in terms of uh, cocoa content mm -hmm. and percentage sugar, it's really what your palate is used to mm -hmm. and what pleases you the most. We really make chocolate, high percentage dark chocolate that tastes good. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on what you like. It tastes great. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you can either head to Bridgehead's website to order this chocolate, or it's yeah. launching in shops around the city this Next week. week. And uh, otherwise, you can go to the Olivia Chocolat website and order any one of their chocolates there. And uh, thank you both so much for chatting with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. What a delicious concept. Mm.